This week, children in Kharkiv, Ukraine began their school year in an underground train station, away from the threat of Russian missiles. Kharkiv is only 25 miles from the Russian border and it's endured numerous attacks by the neighboring nations since the start of the invasion in February 2022. Parts of the city have been completely devastated. Russia is able to launch missiles that can reach Kharkiv in mere seconds, meaning that children in traditional schools wouldn't have enough time to take shelter in the event of a bombing. Until now, this meant schooling was done online. However, in September, the city transformed its underground train system into classrooms to keep children safe during school. Здесь будут находиться парты, будет интерактивная доска, Wi-Fi, тьютеры будут здесь сидеть, психологи. Также в классе установлена пожарная сигнализация для безопасности детей. Также у нас классы оборудованы индивидуально шумоизоляцией и также находится вентиляция. Я поддерживаю то, что дети будут сейчас учиться в метро, потому что им не хватает социума. Они там будут социализироваться, будут между собой находить общий язык, общаться. Это два раза в неделю эти занятия по три часа. Это не каждый день, поэтому я только за. The in-person classes are voluntary, and around 1,000 of Kharkiv's approximately 112,000 school children have already enrolled. More than 1,300 schools have been totally destroyed. There are others that are being heavily damaged and therefore not ready to be reopened for the academic year. Attacks on schools have continued unabated throughout the war in Ukraine. Just last week, teachers were amongst casualties of an attack on a civilian area in the city of Romney. The attack uh, ripped through a school where teachers were preparing lessons for the new academic year. On the same day, a kindergarten in Kherson City was hit in another attack. This senseless and reckless attack have left many of Ukrainian children deeply distressed and without a safe space to learn. Even with the atypical classroom setting, the children quickly fell back into their normal routines, playing games, participating in lessons, and making new friends. The situation has seemingly managed to give the children a sense of normalcy despite living in a city on the front lines of an ongoing war.